Hi, welcome back to Garden of the Moors. It's quite quiet in the garden at the moment, so I've taken a bit of a road trip up the whole of the UK, all the way to Scotland, to look for some incredible geese, which live and breed on the bogs and moors of the far north. They come down into the UK each winter to avoid those harsh Arctic conditions, so let's go check them out. stopped off at Exeter which is the sort of first place we're going to go and we found the first goose on our little goose treasure hunt and it's a Brent goose. It's the smallest species in the UK that we get and uh, yeah absolutely brilliant. And these are the dark bellied Brent goose. We've got two races in the UK, dark bellied, these ones here, and pale bellied. Um, the dark bellied ones breed on the Arctic bogs and moors in Siberia and Russia, that kind of area. And they like to come to the southwest or southern England, uh, all the way from Essex actually, and Norfolk and what have you, down towards us. They love to feed on marine grasses um, called eelgrass. Uh, and then the other race, the pale-bellied, they breed in Canada and Greenland, and they'll come over and spend their winter in Ireland and that sort of area. Um, so yeah, absolutely brilliant to find them, it's awesome. Okay, so my next stop on my little road trip is to the very top of the Severn. I'm going to a nature reserve called Slimbridge, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's been minus four overnight, it's absolutely freezing, so I've got all my layers on, hoping for the best. Um, hopefully the birds are still there. So yeah, let's go check them out. The ultimate star of Slimbridge has to be the Buick Swan. Unlike mute swans, which live here year round, Buicks, also known as tundra swans, breed in Arctic Russia and fly down as families to take a winter break in places just like Slimbridge. They do look similar to another wintering swan, which we may see later, but the way to remember a Buick Swan is that if you were to look at that yellow pattern from above, it could form a capital B, where it's rounded. They were the focus of the great conservationist Peter Scott's affection. He showed that the yellow pattern on the Buick swan's bills are unique and gave all the swans that visited him a name and built incredible family trees from these. The goose that I've come to Slimbridge to look for is the European or Russian white-fronted goose. Now at first glance, they can look like any other goose really, but if you look a bit closer, they have smart white masks and strong dark barring on their little bellies. We can tell these are European because their bills are a pinky colour. They also spend the spring and summer on the Russian tundra, but in recent years they have started short stopping. That is that they aren't migrating as far in winter because the climate is warming and many are staying in places like the Netherlands rather than hopping over the North Sea to England. Okay, so these aren't geese or swans, but cranes. I just had to include them because they are such wonderful birds. They're so elegant and graceful, and they've made a great comeback in the UK thanks to lots of hard conservation work. Well, that was awesome. Um, there were so many birds there. We saw loads of the Buick swans, loads of white-fronted geese, lots of other different ducks and things like that, even some cranes, which is awesome. It's had a brilliant time. I'm now off up the road to pick up an old friend of mine, and then we're going even further north to look for some more geese. On the way up to Scotland, we managed to find these pink-footed geese. They're absolutely beautiful. They live and breed on the Arctic tundra and mountain sides of the northern islands of places like Greenland, Iceland, Svalbard. Um, and they have, obviously they've got their little pink feet, but they also have silverish, almost blue, frosty wings. They're absolutely gorgeous. 
And when they're going around and making their little calls, they make a wink wink noise. So they're quite distinctive in that sense as well. We saw these just outside of Carlisle. They absolutely love that sort of southwest Scotland, northwest England, that kind of area. They love to come over there. So we were really lucky to find them. We've probably found a flock of around 200. They're all in these little family groups. Um, but sometimes they can be up to thousands strong. And um, places like Glasgow are really good to see them as well. After spending a bit of time on the mainland, we've come over to the island of Isla. This is a brilliant place for geese. And just behind this wall here, we've got some family groups of Greenland white-fronted geese. These are quite similar to the ones that we saw in Slimbridge, but rather than having pink bills, they've got orange bills, which hopefully you can just start make out in the video. It was pretty windy, but um, hopefully you can still see that. They love to roost on the island here, on the little boggy pools. And, um, you know, their sort of natural food around here would be things like bog bean and cotton grass that we saw in the spring wildflower, um, wildflower video uh, back along, which was really nice to see. Um, but yeah, they're doing absolutely brilliantly here. There's loads and loads of them around the whole island and they're loving this little patch of sunlight because it's very chilly. Um, there's lots of snow still on the ground, uh, lots of ice everywhere, but they're doing absolutely fine. They ain't phased one tiny bit. So yeah, brilliant to see. Isla is also home to thousands and thousands of barnacle geese, which I think are a really beautiful goose. They are silver, black and white, really smart looking birds. They were originally thought to have come from goose barnacles, in which they both give each other their name, um, because they have really similar patterns, that, that silver with her black scalloping around the edge. We now know that they actually come from rocky cliffs and coastlines of the Arctic islands in the far north, but come down here in their thousands to spend the winter. They are by far the most numerous goose we saw on Isla, but have been hit hard by avian influenza. I mean, that's the reason that we keep our chickens at home locked safely away. The big flocks also attract lots of avian predators. Things like eagles, especially white-tailed eagles, will come down and hunt on the geese, just like these barnacle geese here. This is a young white-tailed eagle. We're not too sure what it's eaten, but there were lots of feathers flying. You might notice the ring on its leg and the telemetry wire on its back. We got in touch with the people who know all about this bird, and they told us that he is a two-year-old male from mainland Argyll, somewhere between here and Loch Lomond. In the surf behind me here, we have some pale-bellied Brent geese. They're really similar to the dark-bellied Brent geese that we saw at the start of our trip down on the River X. And they still breed on those Arctic bogs and moors, but rather than rearing their families in places like Russia, these guys will go over to Canada and Greenland and places like that, and that's where they'll rear their families. In the winter, they come down to the UK and they especially love the northern half of the UK, places like Ireland, Scotland, things like that, which is obviously where I am now. And when they're here, they like to feed, especially in the tidal zone, on different sea grasses, things like eel grass and, and what have you. Uh, sometimes it's on mud flats. Here, it's actually in the surf, which has been awesome to watch. Like you can see them bobbing their little heads under and feeding away on, on all the different vegetation in the surf there. Once they've fattened up over winter, and put some meat on their bones, they'll fly back to the Arctic through Iceland. So they'll go up north over to Iceland, which isn't too, too far away from us really here, um, and then on to Greenland and Canada and places like that for next year's babies to be born, basically. I've come up to the north of the island to RSPB Grunyard. Hope I'm pronouncing that right and we've just managed to find some hooper swans. They look pretty similar to the Buick swans that we saw down in Slimbridge on the way up, but rather than um, having a sort of B shape, if you were to look at the hooper swans from above, the yellow there would form a capital W, which is how you remember that it's a hooper swan. The hooper swans that, have, that are here have spent the summer in Iceland, 
breeding away and creating little family groups, which is where they are now. And they've come down to the UK to avoid that really harsh Arctic weather. We actually heard them before we saw them, which is obviously different from the mutes ones where you don't ever really hear them apart from a few hisses and things, but they make a lovely little call, um, which I'll try and find for you. But on the way back, we're also gonna stop by another um, WWT reserve and hopefully get some even closer views, but it's lovely to see them out on the marshes and moors uh, up on Isla, just like where they would be kind of in Iceland kind of way. These Hooper swans were at Calaverock Reserve. They're much closer and you can really see that long pointed yellow marking on the bill, which is the giveaway for Hooper swans. This shows you just how close those family bonds are in swans and geese. The youngsters stay tied with their parents all the way from their breeding grounds and will spend the winter together learning their migration route as well as the ropes. There we are, I've had a fantastic week looking around um, the whole of the UK looking for these different geese and even some swans. We've come down to Calaverock um, to see these beautiful hooper swans just behind me. That's where we've got the, the close-up video. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, then do feel free to check out uh, my friend Billy's video. He's also been doing one up here on Isla. Um, so I'll put the link to that in the description below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you again next time. Cheers.